In the olden days, spilling the blood of a human being was regarded as a taboo, and whoever does so, even accidentally, will be ostracized or thrown into an evil forest for the evil spirits to feed on. But these days, the reverse has become the case. Is the end of time really close at hand as the Bible predicted? No wonder the renowned Anambra writer, the late chief Chinwalumo Ogwachebe said that things have fallen apart. So many unanswered questions were on the lips of the people of Ndiagu, Ibozwe, Osipu in Obu community who are still wondering why Mr. Kletus Agoloka will starve his own daughter to death because of a torch. Mrs. Georgina Agoloka is the mother of the late Onyinye Agoloka. Madam, how did it happen? But I Mr. Sebastian Agoloka, the immediate younger brother of the man who murdered his daughter in a cold blood, narrated his own side of the story. So, So, the twin brothers of the deceased, Sochima and Chidera Agoloka, said they saw the incident coming and ran out of the house that midnight. Yesterday. Go to the 
So what happened? I na na na. We see na shop, bata. Na bamba. Bata bamba. Do ani ke makatochi. Ani sa na na makatochi. Bata bamba ba ni rumi. Ani man ojimu. Man ojimu mbuwa. So man zo na jimu. Bata zabo dike na ni meru do. Kaso ani man afu. Ani si se ba man bebe si afu. Nde man de bebe si. Ebu le jo wo no. Ebu jo no go. Man o di kadokta no. News Plus equally gathered that traditional wine carrying of the deceased to hold this week before she met her untimely death. The remains of the deceased were later committed to earth same day as approved by the police in Obu after conducting autopsy on the corpse. In the meantime, Onye's father ran out of the compound when he spotted the vigilante members in the community drove inside his house with his daughter's corpse. Metal Oba Metal Ogili. Oinye is dead and buried and can never come back to life. Very, very unfortunate. From Obu, in Orumba North local government area, I am Ngozi Obileri reporting for ABS News Plus.